Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Calvin, and this is my week three matchup versus the Patriots. Um, I have my mic issue fixed. Um, the only thing that I'm really working on now is getting used to my new mic. But um, this week versus the Patriots actually brings up a lot of interesting things for me. Um, I have a lot to talk about. Um, some of you might know I'm a Patriots fan at heart. So, even though I'm a Patriots fan, I really, really wanted to be in this game. Um, I'm interested by some of the moves that they've made in the offseason so far. <sighs> Mainly letting go Browner and Revis. I think a lot of people avoided both of them. So it really solidified their secondary even though you look at their stats they didn't have like outstanding stat, uh, stats they I think they both had two interceptions on the year but that's because people avoid them so I I found it interesting that we let them go um, I'm really happy that Devin McCourty we signed with the Patriots this year. It, it's. I was so worried that they were gonna let that, let him go, and he was gonna end up on somebody else's team. Um, the other interesting free agency news is not quite the Patriots, but their division rivals, the Miami Dolphins. Um, Detroit fans and Miami fans um, are going to be interested in the Domica suit. Um, this is what I got to think is going to happen this year. Is, this is a little preview right here. The Domica suit is going to hurt Tom Brady and Grapple is, or however you say his name, is going to play. Um, if Madden is right right now, it's not going to be that bad. He drove right up the field against my defense like it was nothing. He actually, I think he did better than Brady did. Yeah, but Brady did end up scoring like three touchdowns on me, so I can't. It's hard to tell. But yeah, can't complain. Three for three for 46 yards. Um, and then Tom Brady magically the isn't hurt, and the fell is a pain in my ass. And, <laughs> and uh, Green drives it in. He's playing for the New York Giants next year. Um, I'm curious to see how that's going to work out. The only reason I think he had a lot of production, and I think any of... Um, New England's running backs had a lot of production is because it was a multiple running back scheme. Meaning no one was really responsible for a lot of the running. Um, so they had a lot of time to rest and always be almost 100%, if not 100%. <laughs> the only person that really hasn't shown their worth is Ridley. He's always struggled with turning the ball over and not, not performing the par. <laughs> but, uh, it's just an interesting free agency. Um, Going back to the Dominica Sioux, the NFL is probing the Miami Dolphins because they think there was some um, hanky panky business. Um, people um, negotiating contracts before they should have because the rumor mill on ESPN was awfully accurate about what the Dominica Sioux's contract was going to be like. So, that should be interesting. Um, but, uh, the play that I'm most excited about in this game hasn't come up yet. 
But what do you guys think about Madonna this year? I think he's cheap. Um, so far, he's most famous for being a cheap player. Um, you know, going out of his way to hurt players. And that ground. Uh, but, yeah, I need to finish my thoughts here. Madonna Kasu, dirty player. Pretty much he's going to hurt Tom Brady. Tom Brady's going to be out for the year. And Garoppolo's going to play. Um, but the ground touchdown just a second ago reminded me that um, Jimmy Graham went to the Seattle Seahawks this past um, yesterday, actually. That team, if they don't win the Super Bowl, is going to be the greatest upset ever. No, hands down, should win. Sorry for everybody that's hoping their team's going to win. I'm just letting you know now. The Seahawks have it. And here's my play. Um, Macklin, who I traded for. How do you like me now, Revis? That's mine. Um, Got to try to do a quick, quick, get the playoff so they can't challenge it. And the booth caught it before I could. Clearly, both my feet are in, and Mac was not juggling the ball, so touchdown, waste of a review. But, uh, but anyway. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure we could hear what the refs were saying. Um, let's see. I haven't been commentating my game a lot. I've just been interested. LaFell burnt me again. Yeah, it's the second time. This time he actually got in the touchdown again. Or end zone. Oh, jeez. It's late tonight, guys. And then Ellington. Uh, Dominated. Got his touchdown. Patriots burnt out there and couldn't get anything going. So now my guys have it back, and I just burned the clock. And pretty much from here, nothing happens. So I just burned out the clock. Um, I misplaced the video of me actually getting the field goal, but it's not a huge deal anyway. I end up beating them 31 21. Um, so, as sort of like a Belichick. Yeah, this is a great victory, but um, I don't think I have the caliber to repeat this result, so I'm kind of interested. Um, can't remember the rating. It's 131.5. Brady had almost had a perfect rating. So, um, Ellington had 14 long, one TD, and 85 yards total. Maurice Jones Drew had a pretty good game, too. Um, no one really had an outstanding receiving game, everybody sort of shared it. I was thinking about switching it to just the Raiders there, uh, and I eventually do, because it was just too much to look at. Um, what I did notice after this game is friggin' Williams, after he gets that touchdown and all three receptions with, for 48 yards, he loses confidence for not contributing enough, which I think is crap. I think they need to readjust the confidence system. Granted, I do like the confidence system because it allows players to um, perform above their overall. And it makes for an interesting season because, you know, teams that have some of the best players in the league 
could underperform because their confidence is no good. So, I like that. What I don't like is sometimes the confidence system is just bad. Three receptions for 48 yards and one TD is not a bad game. And you won, so there's no contributing more. You did your part. You got the touchdown. Without your touchdown, we weren't going to win. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you soon.